And honestly, when like finals came around, I pretty much bubbled in whatever answers. What's going on YouTube? My name is Tafari. I am a content creator here on YouTube. Today I want to talk about failing nursing school. Before we go on, I want to make a quick disclaimer. Nursing school is definitely doable. If you put your mind to it, I believe you can do anything. And nursing school will show you if you're really cut out to be a nurse. Just keep that in mind. Give you a little background history upon me. I went to Texas Women's University. I know a lot of people are going to be like, but that's a girl's school. No, we'll, we'll just say that, just take that as the name of the school. And to get into their nursing program, you needed like a 4.75 GPA. We'll just say that um, the cutoff range really varies different years. I knew I can go hard for like two years, get into nursing school. That would be no problem at all. And this is kind of like where I actually came across my first mistake in that I chose nursing school for the money. I looked up, I researched, these people make about sixty to $70,000 per year, and they only work about three days per week. Granted, right? they're working 12 hour shifts. Who wouldn't want to live a lifestyle like that? But the truth is that after graduation from high school, I still didn't know what I wanted to do with my life. I really didn't know who I was. And even today, I still have no clue exactly who I am. I was pretty confident that I can get the point. I was pretty confident that I could get the GPA that I needed. I just wasn't so confident that nursing school or being a nurse was for me. I mean, just look at this picture of me in nursing school. <laughs> Choosing the wrong environment. Texas Women's University allows you to choose two places to go to school, either in Dallas or in Houston. My dumbass chose to go to Houston. Traffic wasn't a problem. Of course, there was a lot of traffic in Dallas. It was terrible, terrible, terrible. But when you go to Houston, though, And not to mention, people cannot drive in Houston to save their lives. F you, man. Jesus Christ. It takes me 30 minutes just to go down the street to the store and come back. When you get to the store, the people are rude. Like. The cashier was literally on her phone in front of me, and this is Walmart, I understand that, no actually I don't understand any of that, they're literally on FaceTime while they have a customer, and I'm the customer, and I'm just like, I don't really care, but I feel like that's a little bit unprofessional, maybe a lot of it unprofessional, I would never live there again, and if there is one good thing I have to give to Houston, they have a lot of good looking women out there, actually, my girl's from Houston. Hey, check her out on Instagram. Shameless plug. But the biggest contributing factor that caused me to fail was failure to plan. When I fail to plan or just have a planner out and detail what chapter is to be reading before class comes or when you're going to have assignments due, tests, things like that. Just not doing that and not being consciously aware of where I need to be in class really, really screwed me up. I hate planning, I hate organizing, I hate planners, I hate writing the planners. I'm telling you guys that you gotta find a way to remind yourself and to execute. And if you don't plan it, you're planning to fail. I mean, you guys heard that before, right? Cramming literally does not work in nursing school. You have to understand what is going on because they're gonna 
put you in real life situations where there can be so many contributing factors and you just gotta find out what is making the patient feel the worst or what do you have to focus on the most at that time. Therefore, it takes a lot of planning, it takes a lot of maybe going over this, understanding the concepts of the material. Subconsciously, I think I procrastinated because I wasn't so interested in being a nurse anymore. But I can tell you, procrastination is the last thing you wanna do in nursing school because you're usually taking about 16 plus hours and if you do procrastinate, it will lead you to coming to class not knowing what's going on. And when that started happening consecutive days for me, I pretty much knew I was gonna fail nursing school. And honestly, when my finals came around, I pretty much followed in whatever answers just to get the test over with and be rid of the stresses of nursing school. I 100% strongly believe that my decisions that I made led me to failing nursing school. My professors and even the group that I was placed in was a set of amazing people and they helped me with a lot of things that I didn't understand in nursing school. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video or if you learned anything helpful from it, please leave a like and comment what you learned. All right, you guys have a great day. It's been your boy Takari and I'm out. Peace.